Um, no, it was actually really nice because Lizzie and I have known each other for a little while, and so coming into playing friends wasn't too difficult because we felt like we had a history together, and so that was really nice because these characters do really have a long history and, and are very close, so it was nice to, to get to work with someone that you know and actually are friends with. Yeah, <laughs> and then also there was a week before we started shooting of just looking at the locations and driving around in very hot weather. <laughs> and so you, basically that week was just hanging, which was fun, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> I feel like everything in this movie happens in public. It does, in public spaces. yeah, public spaces. We're you really think, lucky. oh, riding your bike is really fun, being on the beach <laughs> is really fun, but you know, like hour 10, <laughs> so, right. sometimes not that fun yeah. anymore, but um, it's- Pretending to be naked. Yeah, yeah. In ocean water. A little bit of that, yeah. But no, it actually, it has been really fun. It's yeah. been, um, I haven't filmed a movie in New York in a while, and, and um, so being here and being in the hot weather is actually really good because I guess that's what where the movie is set and it's supposed to be in the summertime. Yeah. And so it's been nice to not have to, like, pretend to be hot when it's cold or, you know, it's, like, just very real. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Which is really fun because we've seen, like, because we've been filming on Coney Island and Brighton Beach and, like, a private community also. And it's just really good people watching. We've, like, become really friends with watching. two women who are staples at that beach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're really awesome. Yeah, I think um, it's just the friendships you have from, like, going to school in kindergarten and then being friends regardless of going to the same school all the way until high school and then becoming each other's crazy aunts of each other's kids hopefully <laughs> and just they're like sisters I was saying how we were talking about the yin and the yang and how when one's up the other one or if one's down the other one has to be up to have the other person's back and that they yeah. have this support of each other yeah, I think in this movie it's Jerry is up most of the time mm -hmm. and uh or just completely aloof and like doesn't know what's going on ever. It's fun to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I um I haven't ever really done a movie like that and so I thought that if I was going to do one, this was a really kind of true one to be a part of. Yeah. And um yeah, it's been it's been really wonderful to be in an environment that's kind of all about. I don't know. We talk about this a lot. It feels very like a very feminine set for yeah. some reason, Lots and of I think that's I think that's Naomi's energy and and um, Mary Jane and yeah, Janice. just a lot of just a lot of females, and that's Bobby. been really nice. <laughs> Bobby Bukowski has a feminine energy. He brings the set. <laughs> so that's been really nice. It's it's just been a lot of fun and. Um, and so, yeah, I think that, I think it, these stories are important and it was something that I wanted to do, but I wanted to do it in kind of this way, so. Right. I think what, what's, what's like the, the best part about Naomi is just like her wealth of knowledge as a human being and um, being a sensitive person and someone who's lived many lives. And she, was really in tune with bringing a team together, actors, DP alike, to create a fun energy, a really, she doesn't want anything to feel stiff or rigid. She just wants us to kind of work it out and figure it out and everyone's opinion matters. Um, so it's been, um, the, the word I'm trying to find is collaborative. collaborative. <laughs> That's that word. I was excited. It was kind of um, piece by piece coming together, and obviously it was me and Lizzie kind of from for, for a long a time. And um, yeah, it's there's a lot of other characters in this film, and so it's it's it was exciting to hear who they would be, and and now I think we've kind of met them all and have started working with or finished working or started working with everybody and it's been exciting to 
get a new energy on set. It's, I mean, it's, I guess I'm kind of like the constant in the film. I've worked every day, so it's, and Lizzie <laughs> has been there, and it's nice to have like a it new has so vibe. Many days off. <laughs> it's really Lily's story. It's a story about two girls, but it's, it's told through Lily's perspective and her journey. Yeah, but I always find it exciting to meet the new person that's, you know, starting working and um, see who your mom is going to be. It's always fun. My parents are Ellen Barkin and Clark Gregg. And my parents are Richard Dreyfus and Demi Moore. Very <laughs> different energies. Very, very different. different households. My household touches a lot and curses and says inappropriate things often. And mine is, is not. My, my parents are doctors and are more rigid and stiff and, um, and there's a little bit of distance between the family as opposed to her family where there's it's not. So her family kind of becomes my refuge in a way. Yeah. Um, or I think that's kind of the history we've tried to create that yeah. when my, my house gets a little too oppressive, I escape to her kind of more free spirit. Fun house. Fun house. <laughs> Oddly, I think one of the most fun scenes to do was the scene where we fight. That was fun. It was, I mean, it was, I think, I kind of surprised myself in, like, the level of emotion that yeah. happened. It just kind of... Especially because Naomi was like, don't feel like you have to go there now. Like, warm up into it. And you and I, like, from take one, we, we just were just were, like, like, sobbing and screaming <laughs> and crying. And, like, it was so emotional. And, um, I mean, I think as an actor, it was, like, really rewarding because you felt like you... You didn't. Ha I didn't have to like try to get there. It just kind of it happened. Was, it was also one of the few scenes where there isn't this like something's not being said. Yeah, because for my character, throughout the whole movie, there's this whole inner turmoil of what she's not saying and what she's thinking and not able to communicate to the person that pretty much knows everything else about her. And so, I think for me, it was like a little bit of a relief to like have all of Lily's dirty laundry out in the open and, yeah. and like just be really honest. Um, I also had a lot of fun shooting two things. The coffee table scene in the backyard for some reason. Uh -huh. I just thought it was a good day. And then um, even though it was like scorching, is that it? Sweltering? Scorching. Scorching and sweltering. Yeah. Hot. Um, it, it, it was so fun to film when we knock, when we meet David for the first time. Yeah. That was a good day. That was a good day too. Yeah. The boardwalk. Yeah. Long day, but a good day. Long day. Good day. Oh, I've wanted to direct for a really long time. So every experience makes me want to, but, um, yeah, absolutely. It's always inspiring to see a first time director actually kind of finally see their vision come to life and so that's always exciting as an actor and as someone who does aspire to do the same thing but every movie makes me want to direct that I do I don't know yet <laughs> I like what I want to do more than direct is um, piece things together in a project way as opposed to like spearheading the ship I just feel like that's a lot of pressure that I'm not ready for anytime I'm ready. soon. I'm so ready. No, I'm <laughs> so ready. I'm so, so ready. <laughs>